whole idea was to promote art in the city and uh, that's really uh, what gave birth to Ramaniyam after my mother passed away. What I remember the most about my mother is her smile. Um, she was always smiling and what I liked the best about her was that she did not complicate things. Um, everything was very simple to her um, and that's, that's what you know, I want to adopt uh, from a personality level. On the other hand, of course, you know, she uh, brought, uh, she came up with Srishti uh, about 13 years back. started Ramaniyam to bring art exhibitions into the city that are unique and um, that can change the sensibilities of the community. So I wanted to bring about exhibitions that has never happened in Hyderabad and uh, that's really the thought process uh, to bringing Ramaniyam. When uh, Lakshmi came to me and asked about one kind of activities in Hyderabad, then I just thought maybe this is the right time we can do something. And so my key idea was like, so this kind of activity has to be something different than gallery art practices or gallery shows. So that's the reason this particular place we find out and we started this project. I was in London when I got a mail from Lakshmi one fine morning asking me if I could be part of this project. Uh, and then I was wondering whether I could be or not because uh, I was not sure how long I'm going to be in London and whether I would be in here back in India in time to be able to work with them. George had once hinted me about this project that she was doing with Lakshmi. And, uh, but I did not know exactly what it was. Uh, until Lakshmi explained it to me in her mail that it was all about disposable culture uh, and <coughs> and it is a subject which has always been close to me. I have written about it and I have been very concerned about the environment as well. I told George that you know, I really wanted to work with him on uh, bringing that exhibition to Hyderabad. And um, of course, um, the whole exhibition, um, you know, we didn't want to do it in a gallery space. So I, um, I, want, I was looking out for places, hunting down uh, old abandoned mills. Uh, I was looking for uh, old houses. And then I came across this beautiful, uh, amazing property, which is the Hillfort Palace. Four years, uh, I was just 
thinking about this concept because uh, i have seen couple of movies and documentaries uh, they are dealing with this particular issues and uh, mainly one of the famous movies called samsara so then after seeing that works then i just thought how much uh, how much aware we are about our surroundings or our uh, living places so this consumption and this planned obsolescence and how uh, dominating in our uh, surroundings and how this media is popping up on our head and the people are people triggered to buy and buy and buy and then again these all the things are very well planned activities and then you also part of the team as we went along the project we made some changes i made some suggestions it was quite interesting because uh, uh, all three of us were on the same page and but having different suggestions and ideas and way how to go about it and the responses from all the art 81 artists in fact we set out with 81 artists and it went on to become 83 artists in fact it could have been more but because of the time constraint there were some other artists who also wanted to be part of it but they had other projects that they were already involved in but could not would not be able to submit the works in time and now it has all fallen fallen in place and it is coming together and some of the works are really exciting and the responses from all the artists in their own way are you know very insightful and and a, quite a revelation luckily enough we also chanced upon a building which is a disused building which is right in the center of hyderabad